Welcome back to Cocktails with the Queens. Shout out to the soulmates. They are feeling the show tonight. They're like, wow, this is a really deep show, but they get in their entire lives through us in the chat. We love you, soulmates. So thank you so yeah. much. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, we got to get into this story. Um, Brittany Griner, uh, y'all know the story about how she's been detained in Russia for all these years. Well, now it looks like they want to hold her down for another six months. Now, this is all about a, a, a vape cartridge. What are your thoughts on Brittany Griner being held over in the Soviet, in Russia for this time and extending it. Selena, what do you think? It's despicable. Again, I feel helpless. Why can't we help her? The fact that it's, I, I'm, I feel like it's because she's a black woman. Um, when Donald Trump was in office, one of the ball sons did something bad in China. They fixed it. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to go to jail. Um, Basketball, same thing. And he wasn't even in the NBA. She's a black woman. She played for their country. She was over there doing her job. And they have her in jail like this. And our company, our country not being able to do anything to get her exonerated is right. weakness. Yep, it's yep, disgusting. Yep, yep, yep. And I have I, it's I have no words for it. It is so painful and awful that a woman has to be in a jail that she cannot even speak the language probably to and can't even really communicate with her people. She's thousands of miles away from her loved ones. She's been through enough in the press already here in America. The fact that she's going through this is trash. She's forcing up to 10 years in prison if convicted on large scale transportation of drugs. Now, AP News also That's reported awful. that less than 1% of criminal defendants are acquitted uh, Lisa Wright, what do you think about this? I am feeling like Selena, you know. Um, actually, I'm pointing the finger at America because it's almost like, what are we doing? You, Biden, you over here sending billions of dollars over there of, on, a, on, a, on, a, on Europe, on a war that we have nothing to do with, and you wasting money over there, and we aren't taking this serious enough to even do something about it, to be able to, to stand up and fight for her. You know, I, 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 I can just imagine how scared she is, wondering when am I going to be able to get home to see my family, to get out of this situation. And then let's, let's think about this. You coming from a place that over here, you know, marijuana, cannabis is, is legalized in, yeah. some, in some states, you know. And so, okay, you know, I, I wasn't supposed to bring a, a vape pen over here, but Bringing a vape pen, is it really that serious Gross. Fine to give her that much time when there is so much more that you could be out there thinking about and, and, and criminals that's out there really, really doing bad things that she ain't hurt nobody. See, that's another thing of control. She's smoking because she want to. So even if you think that this is bad, then she's doing this to herself. But you gonna take it upon yourself and go, nope, you can't, you can't do that to yourself in our country. So we gonna we gonna snatch you up. And it's like, what? You couldn't slap me on it. Could give me a, a even the time she served already. Yes, Since February. So Since so February. Um, so in in Russia, well, you do need to know the laws in other countries. When I went to Bali, they were like, do not try to get weed. Uh, over here in Malaysia, there's certain countries where they take it very seriously, Philippines as well, where they're like, the cops are uh, judged during the execution. They actually can give you the, the firing squad as a punishment for weed and things that we're like, wait, that's ridiculous. But Russia is a country that is very hostile to gay and, and LBGTQ+. They have videos all over the internet of them murdering, abusing, and, 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 and tearing their, uh, them up with no repercussions. Vivica, what do you think about that? And do you think that's a big part of why they're not taking it seriously over there and over here? Because I'm sorry, had this been, been LeBron James or one of our star black ma uh, male players, now, we had a bet, you already know. First yeah, of all, they would have never go over there. The reason why she was going to Russia is to supplement her income. Yeah, that, part. Um, that part. You know, let's start there. I think the thing that made me the happiest about is that she looked healthy. I was very scared for her health more than anything else, because you've heard about when people, when they go to prison in Russia, that the, it's just inhumane, the treatment, uh, how they, they cram them. I mean, it's, it's awful. So the first thing that when I saw her, I said, oh my gosh, at least she looks healthy. 
I know Brittany. Yeah, I know I'm an avid supporter of the WNBA and yeah. it just broke my heart. It really did that, you know, she didn't get to talk to her wife on a planned call because they said somebody was off that day. So let's just pay attention to this, y'all, because I think what's going to happen more than anything else, as I told y'all, she's going to be used as a prisoner trait. So she's supposedly supposed to have her uh, trial July 1st, even though they're going to give her six months anyway, which I thought, OK, so why are we doing a trial? And then you're saying she's going to get six months anyway. So this is all a setup for her to be a trade for one of Russians, Russia's uh, criminals. So pay attention. Watch. But Brittany, we're praying for you. We miss you and praying for you to get home ASAP and prayers to your family and your wife. And Vivica, I know this this really hits home to you because you are definitely a big supporter of the WNBA and yeah. part owner, and, and you're definitely in that world. So I, I know you're really feeling this. So makes me sad. It does. But I, like I said, I just was happy to see that she was healthy because that was my biggest fear. It's like, wow, is she eating? Oh. Are they taking care of her? You know what I mean? It's, it's a big moment. The top yeah. WNBA player in America gets $228,000 yeah. a year. So she went over there and made her $1 million, which now look what's happening and, and over some cannabis oil i mean it's not even real not even a real substance not even a, right, an a actual pen. countess pen. over a vape pen. that's yep. bullshit yes. it's yeah. trash you know it's russia trash. if if it's sympathy from the world that you want you know um in this 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 horrible war that you've chosen to to start to try to snatch some land back you're not doing a very good job. The rest of the world sees you and history will not be kind to you, Putin, Russia, and all these antics that you're doing don't and, and what you're doing to the people over there. And, and then keeping them blind with blocking social media sites so they can't even get the real story. Shame on you, Russia.